Hey you guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. And I hope you enjoy the video. Today is Trait Changer Day. As promised from the last video, I told you all that I would record me going to get the trait change. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm pulling up to the hospital now. And I'm about to go in here and get all checked in. So if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And enjoy the video. Just so, if anybody was wondering, uh, the last few videos, well, the last three, vi two videos I did on being one to the doctor, they always have that desk sitting at the front where some people that. Well, every clinic and every hospital that you go to here, they make sure they ask you questions, they make sure you have a mask and stuff like that to make sure you don't uh, have COVID before you enter the hospital. So that's what that desk is for anytime you see it when I enter a building. So right here, I'm in the registration. I'm getting registered uh, to get my procedure done. So I'm just in here for a quick second. So this one is when I go upstairs to the third floor, it's another weight room that I have to be in. So yeah, continue watching. Now, this part where she's about to give me an IV is actually her second time trying to give me an IV. She stuck me twice in all, which is very good for me. And um, her hands are clean and stuff, and she had to take the tip of her glove off so she can feel my vein. Because my veins are so, so tiny. So I made sure that her hands was clean and stuff like that, and I allowed her to do that. So, because uh, I know that I'm a hard heart stick, and I'll be getting stuck a thousand times if she didn't take the glove off just to feel where it was, if my uh, vein was at. So, continue watching, and I, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it.
so right here when you see me talking to her fun fact about me i'm always cautious about the iv line only because uh i want to make sure it's prime before they put it on there i know it's like protocols to do that but i always make sure that they prime it so i tell her you know to prime it for me let me see it let me see it done because i've had uh just a couple of nurses that you know almost forget to do it so and i know that can be crucial if like a uh an air bubble or something get in your vein so anytime i get an iv and have to get iv fluids i always ask them to prime it in front of me first always I'm just waiting to get called back. Look. We got the IV started as you saw. So I'm just waiting. <clears throat> My procedure is supposed to start at 10 just left out let me know what kind of medicine that they're gonna give me which is called before it's the white medicine that goes inside your IV um one of the doctors in the in talked to me uh they let me know that uh I'm getting a bigger trait today uh the company who makes the traits made the sizes a little bigger so this time I'll have to get just a little bit bigger trunk and they will have to uh, extend the hold of my neck a little bit. What you said that they do that by putting a balloon in there and uh, it uh, and dilates it, I guess, like makes it bigger or whatever. So we'll see how that works out. Cause that's the first thing. This is the first time I had that done. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I'm about to go back in, in a minute. I'm all set. I got my IV. I got I signed all the papers and stuff. So uh, before I get done, though, I'm gonna have him explain to me again uh, what's the process of getting a bigger trait to make sure I understand it well. Because I want to make sure that I have everything at home for this bigger trait. You know. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all when I wake up.
so right here i'm in recovery when i first woke up my neck was hurting really really bad so immediately when i woke up i asked for some pain medicine and they gave me some uh fentanyl for pain uh so right here is when you see me going back to sleep off of the fentanyl um this is the new track right here is clear this time the other one was white so you can clearly tell the difference of it and um my doctor uh, made sure that i came home with uh, a few supplies for it because like i said before i i wanted to make sure i had the right stuff at home which i don't so he had to put in a prescription for me to get the right stuff and then to get it here maybe tomorrow or either monday so i'm just in here recovery recovering up and i'll be going home If you made it to this part of the video, you have made it to the end. I am on my way home to lay down and recover for a few days after this. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. Thank you so much for watching. Now guys, I know that the last few videos that I made has been doctor's videos but i just wanted to give you a real life of what i really do because this is really what i do like i go to the doctor a lot as you can see i got like a lot of health problems or whatever so this is really what i do now um i don't have an appointment for a little while after this which i'm glad of because i'm kind of tired of going to the doctor but we gotta do what we gotta do to still help stay healthy you know so we are about to head out um thank you so much for watching my video and stay tuned for the next one